get your drinks get something to roll up get your wine make sure it's cold put your feet up y'all know what we came to do i got some very very special guests with me tonight how long have the each of you been married we're gonna start with ladies first and move on down to mr vines how long have you been married miss mickey 17 years be 18 this year 17 years of experience lord have mercy mr vines what time do you have in this world well man i've been going it'll be uh six years going on next month man six it's years good. going on next month yes sir blessings to everybody walking in here i see miss amanda i see miss Letitia. blessings miss coffee uh elmira zone lavar was popping big dog that's so I see the is. people stepping in here. He said, blessings to you, Miss Mickey. Hello, queen. <laughs> Actually, he from up top. So he said, what's good, queen? What's good, queen? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying? I got to say it in his voice, his vernacular. You know, it's a lot different from the South Side, but he's still family all, all in the same. So we got 17 years of experience, and we also have uh six years go going on whatever six yeah. plus years you know uh of experience right those are very, two very different levels of marriage and i like that because it's a mixture i would have liked to get somebody on here only been married for like two three weeks but i couldn't find nobody i needed a fresh newlywed you know what i'm saying there are plenty ways that people connect and um uh people join in marriage right uh, I think that some people do shotgun weddings, some people do the big uh, elaborate weddings. Now, we're, we're not going to talk about the actual way you got married, mm -hmm. but I am going to ask a question. Is there a, was there a dream wedding that you, if you could do it tomorrow, funds don't mean nothing. What would that look, what would that look like for you? Miss Mickey, we're going to leave with you. I would. I, I, you know, I'm gonna say you yeah, I got married. I'm gonna no, no, no. That. I said, give me some things. Oh, what some would things be, that I would. What would be added to that wedding, or what would be done? Oh, baby, I would have my white dress, my my bridesmaids, my bro, you know, the groomsmen. Like we would have done it if I could do it today and had all the money for it. We're gonna. I've never had a wedding. I want all of it. I want the whole big shebang. I want so, the wedding. So the million dollar wedding. Yep. And Mr. Vines. If you could do anything right now that you would just love to see for a wedding, what do you think that thing added? Well, I don't care if it's a horse and carriage. What would that thing be that you say, yeah, that's a that's an ideal wedding for me? I mean, just for the dreamers out there now. Yeah, Remember, for the dreamers, man, it would it look, would have to look, definitely be no it would money definitely have to be like a yeah, it would have to be a destination wedding, probably somewhere in the Caribbean, man, on the beach horses my groomsmen's the bridesmaids just and honestly i wouldn't even want it for me man i my biggest dream is to make it as big as she wanted to be or whatever yeah. she want how she want because you know to me the big wedding is not necessary it's not necessarily for the groom it's, it's for the it's for the bride so however she wanted it you know what i'm saying the money is unlimited exactly how i make it however she, i make it her dream wedding that's dope that's dope now see i asked that question for a specific reason so we're going to get into why I asked that question. First, I want to say blessings to each and everyone just stepping in. Indeed, indeed, we are talking about should married people hang with single people and not just that. We're going to get into friends. We're going to get into some circumstances that I'll put them in hypothetically. And we're going to see how different perspectives matter. We got Mr. Vines at six plus years of marriage and we got Miss Mickey at 17 plus or so right around in there. Right. So much different experiences from both people. And I think we're going to get some good insight. So uh, blessings to you, Mr. Jimerson. Uh, Miss Latanya, I see the Jimersons in the building. A married couple indeed. So look, now, Mr. Jimerson can join. Send him the link, bro. Send him the link. Or Miss Jimerson, whatever one. I don't care. Uh, I wanted to ask that question simply because we got people that are working on a second marriage. I ain't done it yet, right? But their idea of a new wedding is I wouldn't have spent all that damn money, right? I wouldn't have spent, I wouldn't have went into debt 
just to join hands financially if I had known better. I was so excited about joining in holy matrimony that we did a whole quick thing. It was intimate. It was meaningful. However, if I had to go back, I would keep that money in my pocket and put it in other places, investments of some sort that would mean something to us, whether it's even for me. Let's talk about Jermaine now, personally. If you're asking me for a hundred thousand dollar dress, baby, I could think of two houses we could buy, <laughs> flip them, mm -hmm. fix them up and flip them for fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Flip them and they'll go that hundred thousand dollar dress, but we still got that property getting rented, so that money getting put back in there. All right. So you know, what's, you know what's gonna happen after that uh, wedding? That yeah. dress gonna be put in a nice box. It's gonna go on the top of the shelf, and that's yeah. where it's gonna stay. And maybe it gets passed down. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. So maybe. there's plenty of reasons and ways that people connect, right? And there are boundaries that need to be set in place when it comes to friends moving into a marriage. Mm -hmm. The question I ask to you is, what boundaries did you have to set moving into your marriage? Now, Miss Mickey, I know that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But if you can think of some boundaries that you had to set in place, what would those oh. things have to be upon marriage? Well, you know, I met Will while he was in the service. You know, y'all, y'all cooked together too. Yes, so, indeed. You know, I was a KP <laughs> in the defect, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I was new, you know, and everything. There was a there were you know, we we couldn't tell each other everybody that we were dating because you know, I'm in the defect, I'm working, you know, whatever, blah, blah. So I had to deal with a lot of females, you know, uh, yo, that's just my friend. That's my friend. But they were crossing the line that I just didn't like, you know, and everything. So I had to set a lot of boundaries. I, I don't have a problem with that being your friend. Or, you know, we, we, it's just it's certain things that now that you're in a relationship that friends got to stop doing. You can't. Just call your phone at 11 o'clock at night anymore. You know what I'm saying? You can't just get up and go help this said female friend anymore because she got a flat tire. She got to find her own man to fix her own flat tire, you know, type stuff like that. So there were a lot of boundaries that I did have to set. I needed to know these said friends, vice versa. You know, if see females can tell other females, you see what I'm saying? We can tell, we can look at, we got that, that intuition. But, um, so. You know, we got that intuition where we can, we can, I can look at a female and be like, mm -mm, I don't trust her. Mm -mm, I don't trust her. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to ask questions and I'm going to believe you because my trust is in you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with you. I'm going to mm. set those boundaries with you. Now, once they start getting crossed, I'm going to correct you on it. Then if I have to move to the next person, then I'm going to move to that next person. But my, my, I'm going to start with you. It's just all about respect. Mm. That's the biggest thing. I did have to set boundaries with him as well as other females in that dining facility. That's what I'm just going to say in the dining facility. That's Oh, the defect be lit. Oh, the defect was lit. <laughs> Very lit. Yeah, the, the defect be all off the time. I'm, I'm yeah. washing pots of pans in 180 degree water. You know what I'm saying? And I'm threatening girls that I might have to put your face in that water if you disrespect me one more time in my okay miss yeah. criminal activity hey, over her I mean, I, I mean, no but yeah you know it's but it's it's, it's a level of respect and disrespect you know what i'm saying those are the boundaries that you have to set so so my 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 other brother in the building my middle brother he said i argue with my wife all the time about this she has nothing but single friends who think and act single why associate associate yourself wow. if in that if you're married we'll get to that Thank you for that, Mr. J. Mr. J. Vine, sir. We ask you the same question: uh, What boundaries did you have to set early on for the friends once you were, even if they were for yourself, uh, when it came to your friends? And now you're you're called your duty being called to is your wife and family. Yeah, honestly, man, the boundaries I had to set more or less was on myself. I had to kind of be real about my past and my associations with people from my past and honestly man i just cut a lot of people off man cold cold turkey cold turkey unless we were you know tight as glue or something like that man i just i just cut a lot of people off man because i didn't want to create that distraction i didn't want to bring old problems to a new situation mm. um 
because I know how temptation is. So I oh, wanted yeah. to try, you know, I wanted to make this marriage work. I wanted to make it last, and I didn't want to start it off on no on no BS, man. So for me, I just had to cut a lot of people off cold turkey, man, and just try to walk walk differently. As far as my wife is concerned, man, um, we have a lot of mutual friends. So there really wasn't a lot of boundaries I needed to set as far as her and her friends because we knew a lot of the same people and we kind of walked in the same circle for the most part. Um, so and I trusted her. And because we walked in the same circle, I trusted a lot. Of, I trust a lot of the people that we were around, surrounded by, um, entertained, entertained by. So we never, never had an issue in that regard. Like I said, for the most part, it was just me manning up and trying to get rid of the things I knew would be, you know, that would tempt me to, to step back into something different. I didn't want to do that. So I just kind of cut folks off cold turkey, man, and just started a fresh walk. That's it. Wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. So Mr. Vine said something that was moving towards my next question. Uh, I love that you was able to easily walk into a situation where we had mutual friends and you already knew who you was dealing with. Sometimes that's not a thing. I often don't have but a few people around me. So if I entertain a young lady, uh, she may never know who I hang with because I'm literally damn near never around them. But when I do step out, we shoot pool together and then they gone because get togethers is far few with me trying to build this. You know what I'm saying? And since their lives dictated something opposite than what I was doing, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? We don't see each other much, but when we do, it's just me going out. Finally, I'm having a day to let my hair down, so to speak, and they see me. So the women never really get involved with my, and that's the difference between single and married. I don't have to consult for real to step mm -hmm. out or, or, or check in when I come back home. It's a courtesy, yeah. See. And I think it's I think it's a courtesy in marriage as well. It is. It is. How, I, however, I'm saying I'm not bound to that courtesy. I did have to. This is what another thing I had to tell my husband was I'm from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I grew up here. I moved here in 1985, and I've been stuck here ever since. So I've gone to elementary, middle, high school. I'm from the hood, you know, whatever. So and both sides of the town, you know, all over. I'm very well known. So I have a lot of people, I'm not going to say friends, but associates. And I'm a hugger. So if I'm out in public and I see somebody that I ain't seen who in forever, I'm like, yo, what up? We may have had a pass, but that's what it is. Once once you my pass, you my pass. I ain't even thinking about that. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'm going to walk, what up? What up? We're going to hug and we're going to dap it up or whatever. And I'm going to, I'm going to. Hold on, hold on. Stop right there. Stop right there. That's going to bring another, another subject. No, nah, not a, another subject. Just a quick question. Okay. You say if y'all used to hunch, you gonna hug. Listen, <laughs> that ain't nobody's business if we hunched in in in. No, I'm talking about like if, if let's say hypothetically, me and you, husband and wife. Mm hmm You finna hug, dude? While I'm standing there. Uh huh. I'm gonna dap it up and say what up because if dapping it happens, up, cool, dapping dap dap up and hugging two different matter. things though. Dapping dap up and hugging two different things. Two different things for well, a man. Mm -hmm. I, but I said I'm a hugger. I'm a dog. Y'all know I'm like a dude. I'm a I'm a grandma. No, no, I know you personally. My my point is, <laughs> is you really finna do the hugging? Yeah, we ain't finna do the hugging thing. No, we ain't hugging. Let, you can't, can't let that happen. Let me backtrack. Nope. Cause I'm look, gonna say, what's up? How you doing? But this is what I am gonna do. I'll ignore I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna say, hey, such and such, this is such and such. Knew him from back in the day. Blah blah blah. And that's what I'm gonna do. And we gonna we used to hunt. You gonna tell him? <laughs> I think, man. I think there's a certain way you can acknowledge people. But if you got a pass, you got you got to be careful with how you introduce that into a new situation. Because not exactly. everybody. No, you're not gonna just tell it. your husband. No, I used right. to hug him. You're not gonna right. do that. Right. That's sometimes that, that, that hug could be an extra an extra second or too long. You know, you gotta right. start side but, out, but, but me, I'm gonna make sure it ain't nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? You know what I'm as, saying? As you should. As you as, should. That level yep. respect. Yep. Mm -hmm. I so agree. Ass, right? Problems. He always trying to start a fight. I'm not <laughs> starting nothing. Listen, you know why I ask it? It's because. Okay, let me get on here. Let me look. <laughs> let me look at y'all. You know why I asked it. You know why I asked it. Um, you can be respectful and 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 damn, I ain't seen such and such in five, ten years, right? Mm -hmm. And y'all got a pass, whatever. 
But let's say Jermaine just had a bad day and you know Jermaine had a bad day, mm -hmm. right? Um, I don't believe that my bad day should be your bad day. I don't believe that, right? right? But you know I had a bad day. Mm -hmm. I think that situational awareness come is it comes in at this point Absolutely. where where you're saying i would never embarrass my partner in public i don't give a shit if we just got out the car arguing mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so if my past walks by me and i know me and baby girl ain't straight baby girl having a bad day baby girl is focused she just want to run in this store get mm -hmm. her off the top and get the fuck out of here she don't want to stop and talk she got a headache her feet hurt she had a long day at work situational awareness now i'm not saying this to the two of you i'm saying this for the viewers mm -hmm. situational awareness is important because that could very well put a stain on your relationship Absolutely. and you you just giving that hug right you just giving that hug mm -hmm. could mean something very different to your partner because of the mood mm 